What's up? What's up, everybody? <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, it took forever in a decade. Did you guys miss us? You should if you don't lie down. Hope so. It's the Reveal Podcast, y'all. Back at it again. Yes, sir. With Soulful K. Hair is real, baby. Yes. Oh my gosh. I missed y'all. Definitely missed y'all. As y'all know, we did, not, we did not post last week. We were busy working on other projects. Had a lot of other things going on, but we are back. Back again. In action, yes, sir. As you know, it is the end of our season, baby. Yes, it's the end of our season. We, we are, are wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. What else? Because, <laughs> <laughs> man. I'm like, repeating everything you're saying. I was, though, when you first started. <laughs> I think we just have a habit. Right? Nah, yes, y'all. This is a double upload weekend. We are only doing um, 10 episodes a season, so this will be our ninth and 10th episode. Yeah, and then we're going to take a break. We got other projects that we're working on, other things that we need to hit the gas pedal on. So, Which we touched base on in our previous podcast. So, Yeah, if you guys have been keeping up with us and listening to every episode, you already know this. You already know what's coming. But for you, those of you who are just now listening to us, yeah, we're going to take a break after this. So go run up the last episodes that we dropped. Yeah, make sure to show some love. Yeah, what are we talking about today, bro? This is kind of a different vibe. We just... We're pretty, yeah, we're going to just bounce around with these different questions. I think we got like three questions that we're just going to... Yeah, we pulled a couple questions. Some of them are really good. Those. Yeah, just kind of go into a they're, little they're detail. pretty good questions, too. I can't get... Definitely was, make you think. I was pleased. So make sure y'all, y'all think of it to yourselves what you would do. All right, and then drop it below. If you're watching this video right now, let us know how you would answer these questions so we can see what you got going on in your life. In your thought process. What's the first question, bro? First question was, what was the first question? We can start with the long distance one. I think that was an interesting topic. All right. So, right. so yeah, it's the I, question. Could, could y'all do long distance? How do yeah. y'all feel about it? So I guess we would answer first. Yeah, go ahead. You <laughs> could I do long distance relationships? Um, I think I could. I think I could. I feel like it depends on who the woman is I'm courting and how, you know, we interact and vibe. And if we feel like that's something that's not going to stop what we got going on, I could, I can handle that. It'd be tough because I can get clingy, like, when I'm really feeling somebody, but <coughs> I can do it. What about you, bro? Um, I think, if, like, in a temporary talking stage, of course, I'm open to just talking to people who aren't or somebody who's not actually immediately in my state. Right. But I can't, like, maintain a long-distance relationship just because mm-hmm. I always have so much going on, and I feel like I'm more so of a, the type of person I have to, you know, see you and, and you know, just, just occasionally taking those trips. Yeah. It, that'll be enough, like, just ever so much in the beginning before it's like we're just going to have to figure something out, which is interesting because most relationships I've been in, they always start out that way, and then I just wind up moving to wherever they're at, or they move to where I'm at. Right, I'm saying, haven't you done that before? Like, where you've had a relationship, mm-hmm. and then you relocated based off of that relationship? Yeah, two relationships, actually. When I came out here, and when I went out to Vegas. Hmm. How long do you give yourself prior to thinking, okay, this is a move that I'm ready to make? Is it like they say in the LGBTQ community, where it's you already after a month? <laughs> Or does it take some time to kind of develop that, oh, yeah, I'm just going to hop across state and be with this person? No, I mean, like, it does take a little bit of time. But for the most part, I will know whether or not it's something that I'm even willing to do. If mm-hmm. I'm not willing to do it, then I know off off rip that it's not somebody that I can see myself being with. Mm-hmm. But I always move with a purpose anyway. So if I'm talking to you and I can't see myself making no move and you can't see yourself making no moves and ain't no moves going to be made, yeah. then it, I don't see it. There. Like, it's just not going to work because no, I'm not about to travel on my whole life back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, we need to have some sort of, like, state of stability and then we can travel together. You can go do your traveling. I can do my traveling. Like, we can still meet in the middle. But, like, as far as, like, consistency and building a foundation and a relationship, yeah, I, I have to move to eventually have it, like, where we are. Yeah, I feel the same. I feel like I could do it, but it would be to an extent, like you're saying. It would have to, we'd have to have some type of plans of eventually coming together, not just, oh, you live across the world, you know, for the rest of our relationship. <laughs> yeah, that's Because what? Nah. 
none of that, but like in the talking stages and getting to know somebody and then, you know, you're in the first year officially dating. I'm cool with that. But after that, as things get more serious, definitely got to plan for relocation. I think I can go like six months tops. Six a months? Year. Six months tops. And that's just seeing them, you know, Yeah, that's like seeing them and, and being around them. And that's a good, six and, months to a year. That's, yeah. that's a good time frame for me. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Okay. I guess to piggyback off of this, another question that we were seeing a lot was in regards to friendships and then dating around people that your friends might have dealt with before. Yeah. So I feel like you got a better way of putting that question. How would you it, dabble in? Would you put yourself in a situation? Or would you? sleep with one of your friends previous partners or somebody they've slept with that's deep me personally no me like, personally definitely not yeah i don't Playing i don't really games. yeah i don't surround myself with people like that i don't yeah. know who moves in that nature i'm sure some people do but it's just never something to pique my interest that's been that's like rule number one yeah that's cold that's definitely cool. <laughs> that's like she was saying, like we don't even surround our like nah. Like we wouldn't even be rocking with each other if, if we was on that type of tip. So yeah, that's... we don't even play them them type of games. Even when it comes to the fans, like we be we be peeping everything. Like yeah. everything and everybody. Yeah. So it's crazy. It's crazy for sure. But I know I don't know. I guess there are there certain limitations or boundaries when it comes to this particular topic though? Like, is it if you're dating somebody or if it with you were a boyfriend, girlfriend, together, locked in, married, whatever with this person, that's off limits? Or is it, hey, I made contact with this person first and, you know, even if we wasn't serious, it's still... I think it's cold regardless because there's so much pussy in this world, man. Yeah. Why would you be <laughs> trying to fuck on something that I had wanted to have was on my like I get it if somebody's on my top and I'm like nah you good like my home and it's like yeah. but even then it's like a homie hopper so it's like ugh, like bro like fuck it but don't get in love with it you know what I'm saying like yeah is there's just levels to it like I don't know I just don't have no desire to like want to slide up in some shit my homie been in and also like it's just it, I feel like it creates a foundation of deception it questions everything that you are as a person like not everything like that but like me personally if you're capable of doing something like that or it, it makes me think like are you even my homie like or do a, like are you one of them hating ass snakes like do you really want to be me like what's going on like all these types of things that make right. you think because it's like what that's kind of weird you yeah. know it is weird have you been in a situation like to where one of your homies tried to slide in somebody's dm or somebody that you was no. talking to or nothing like that not of my knowledge <laughs> <laughs> that's good i don't feel like i've Definitely not. To my knowledge, I've had, you know, a couple of deals where people try to talk to me and talk to my friends. And oh, I people. have had one recent situation since being out here in Atlanta, but I would not call us homies. I would just call it a s associate that did some weirdo shit that I have not yet to address because I haven't seen the bitch in person. Okay. I think I know what you're talking about. You know about. what I'm talking about. Okay. I forgot about that because I was thinking my homies friends would never, but I would not consider them such. <sighs> Really nah, know each yeah, I don't feel like I've been through that. That would be crazy. That'd be crazy. And plus, me and my homies, like my homies' homies that I chill with often, like we have a chat. So if something like that was to cross, if you know somebody's feeling this person versus that person, nine times out of ten we're gonna know slide about it. it. Group Every now and then somebody might slide through and it might be too late, but it's never been like, oh yeah, this person and that person. Typically somebody would. Like, come forth and say, say something, something. Yeah. like, oh, yeah, I know Kay, or, hey, I know, yeah. I know Ren. That part. Not you waiting to after everything is happening. You got to be careful, too, because some, some girls will act like they'll be for somebody, and then they'll what, the person that they're for won't pay them no mind. So then they'll slide and try to get in with the other person, which won't pay, just so they can try to solidify a spot on the team. And that still is a, a shade of grimy, because, like, we going up and up and up. We don't need to have no, like, snake groupies. Like, if you're going to be loyal, be loyal. If you're going to be for the team, get smashed for the team, but say that you're for the team. Don't come hard on one end and then try to slither the snake your way up in on the back end because it is not going to go down the way you think it is. Right. That's I want it. We won't even move like that for real. We're real cool people. We're, like, very accepting. So there's no need to, 
you know, be deceitful yeah, or come to us any type of way. If you're feeling somebody, if you see something, then just just speak on it like that. It's never got to be any behind the back or, like, we've literally seen it all. And it ain't even been, like, a long time. It's, yeah, it's, cra- yeah. it's crazy. It's crazy. But it really is. It's yeah, ain't none of that going on over here. I'm not trying to talk to anybody that my homies have talked to. Yeah, we don't play that shit. That's weird. So. That's, that's weird. And what was the last question, bro? There was one more. Was it about cheating? What was it, dude? Fuck, I, I forgot. That's the one that slipped my mind. We gotta mind. start writing shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah. I think it was how we feel about cheating and. Uh, would you ever cheat? How do you feel about it? Would you t- <laughs> no, it was would you take somebody back? Not you, oh yeah, that was it. That was it. Not would you ever cheat? <laughs> Snitch no. on yourself. Snitch on yourself. <laughs> Definitely not. Um. Um. What I take somebody back? First off, have you taken somebody Me? back? That has anybody ever cheated on you? No, never, never, no, okay. absolutely not. I would never, like, definitely not. Ah, uh, I don't even get down with, like, with with women that that do or would move that type of way mm-hmm. under no circumstances. Like, they would never even give their body. Like, I still got exes to this day that will only let me fuck, just because they still got a certain connection, no matter how long it's been. Like, not you got it like that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, hell no. Nah. And then on top of that, no, I wouldn't take nobody back no. for cheating. I would beat the holy matrimony out of both of y'all, and y'all could both still have each other. And I would dip off in the sunset with the next, better, best, bigger, better, bigger, boss up expeditiously. Yeah. But I still have to get it back in blood because you tried me, but just off of principle. But no, I think just because the motherfuckers know me, they know not to do that shit. Like, I slick done it before. Oh, whoa! Well, it, it, plot it, twist it, on the floor. I didn't see that one. It coming. wasn't on like a level <laughs> to where I was disrespected, no doubt. But it wasn't on the level of. It wasn't on a high level. So what the hell does that mean? Like there was no like sexual. <laughs> There's thing no going, judgment zone too. Right. It wasn't no. It was no type of sexual thing going on, to my knowledge. It was a. Uh, it was more like, you know, Emotional phone cheating. stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. Oh, okay. So. Like phone sex and all that shit. No, nah, I ain't say that. Phone. I don't know. Was she? Ah. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, like we. Cheater to your phone. Work it out or whatever, so. So she took you back? She took me back. I took her back. It wasn't Oh, she me. cheated on you? Yeah. Oh, That's wow. what I said. I did. No. Damn, I thought you said I'm, you did. That's what I'm said perfect. plot twist. No, not me. Oh, I was just saying, no, that's no, not I didn't your do character. It. She cheated. Right? That's why I was on the edge of my seat. She cheated on me. I'm glad you cleared that up, because for anybody that thought what I thought. Right, yeah. Damn. So mm-hmm. you took her back, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I did. I did, I did. But then you always think about stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm the type of person that want to let stuff go. Were you ever able to? What? Let it go. <laughs> like, I know you're not still together to this day, but like... Right. Uh, was that like one of the major kinda. factors? Of it life? was, it was, it was, it was. There was multiple things, but I felt like, I don't know, when people do that, it kind of violates your trust, and then you try to get past it, but then... They don't feel the same because you let someone else inside of you. <laughs> that part. It's the lies for me, mm. yeah. It's the calculated deceit. But I do know a lot of people that have marriages where they have infidelity and different things, and they have been able to work past it. Don't know how. I never want to be in that type of situation when no. I do decide to get locked down. Because I'm but. taking the house and all the cars, <laughs> and you can keep the kids. Angela Bassett does shit. That's mm. crazy. Um, jokes by the way, tough crowd. Right. Ha 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 ha. Face asses. So, would you ever cheat on somebody? Right. <laughs> no. The way that I date is so open and specific that if we're not official, we're not official. So I move how I move, but I still move with respect if I'm like really messing with somebody. But when I decide to make that person mine and we together together. I can't stop smiling. You know, it's because you're <laughs> smiling, bro. Like. Oh, cheese and ass. <laughs> but no, when I decide to do that, that's, that's deep to me. Oh, no. I'm not thinking about cheating. I'm not thinking about nobody. I'm definitely not cheating. No, that's just I'm not I'm committed. Mind. Right. Especially when, like, it like it only has to be communicated because most women are going to tell you, like, oh, I don't want you fucking with nobody like that. 
Right. So yeah, open relationships are not still like there's ways of of communicating. Yeah, like and being loyal without having to do all the extra shit. Right. I feel like cheating comes in a place where there's deceit. If you're open and honest about it and the person knows what they're getting themselves into. And I try to do that. Even if I'm like talking to somebody and I'm feeling them and I start talking to somebody else and I'm feeling them more, I'll let that person know and say, hey, like I'm not completely like, I'm not not (laughs) completely like not into you. It's just that I found somebody that I'm kind of vibing with a little bit also. You know, some people consider that Players, yeah, <laughs> but I feel like that's open. Yeah, open communication just... is key. That's it. That's all you got to do. Some people be out here doing this and doing that. Say, hey, I like you and your homie. I'm going to see which one I'm vibing with most. The I'm going to stop talking to you automatically. Yeah, it's already out. It's like, <laughs> that's why they lie, though. So you already losing that facet. But, but either way, we'll know whether you tell us or not. We'll be able to peep it, so you might as well be up front, because at least you have a chance of maybe being a friend. <laughs> not maybe being a friend. I'm very, I'm very, very much a homebody. So like, if I'm my version of friend is seeing you once a month, I'm having like, conversations. I'm like I only like, hang out with them to be honest. Like y'all say. That's a fucking key fact. I low key feel like I'm too like elite and special of a person, and like, <laughs> no, like no, no, no. Like I feel yeah, like, real, like this so goes for too. all the material boys though, right? So like, it's like when you're too special and elite of a person. You're not going to want to be with somebody that just feels like, oh, like, I want it all. Like, I, I like you and your homie and your homie. Like, I'm going to see who or who all I can get. Like, bitch, it ain't, this ain't that. I'm, I'm a one-of-a-kind-ass motherfucking nigga. You're not about to just come in here and be like, oh, well, whatever fits, fits. Like, no, you're going to know it fits, and you're only going to want me to be, and that's it. Or you only going to want my homie, and that's going to be it, because we elite. Like, we, we too... You ain't just gonna try to slide in where you fit. Right, and then if y'all do that, or if people do that, because we're not just categorizing everybody, we don't just put ourselves up on this pedestal. Like people do it in general. But, <laughs> but if you're upfront with that, that's more likely of a chance to be able to just be chill with everybody. Like it don't even take any extra. There's some people who try to do like weird stuff with one person and then talk to the other person if this person isn't. Just on some sketch stuff. Like, if you just want to chill, say you want to chill. Yeah, don't and get then we canceled. Can chill. Like, whoever your jump. vibe. Yeah, and then just vibe. We chill. Yeah. Don't we look chill? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that was a vibe. And speaking of cheating, dating, long distance, all of that, Ren is fine in love, y'all. If y'all have not been keeping up with it and, and following us on social platforms, which you should be. Mm-hmm. On every platform. We are dropping a show this summer. Um, Ren is going to be fine in love. We are going to be working with eight lovely women um, to hopefully, you know, narrow it down to one for Ren to find in love. That huh. part. How are you feeling about that, boy? Nervous. You nervous? And excited, too, at the same time. But I'm mainly nervous because it's a lot of energies. It's a lot of attitude. That's a lot of bitches trying to get the duff in. Don't y'all get the duff in. Yes, sir. But we're going to have fun, though. Either way. It's going to be lit. It's going to be a lot of opportunities and a lot of networking and a lot of moments and a lot of memories and a lot of money. We're going to set it up. We're going to set it up. It's going to be a great experience. Um, Make sure y'all follow us on all platforms for more details. We're going to start dropping a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) A little bit week to week so you you guys can see what's really going on. And We've been a little quiet. Not too much. But you guys about to really see what we've been working on is yeah it's crazy so I know let us know if you want me to do a story time about this roach being in my motherfucking food tropical smoothie I ordered you're gonna do a story time on that regardless because that was crazy we just experienced this like right before this video so it was the phone call for me you gonna get it all y'all gonna get it all (laughs) after y'all watch this go watch that video because I'm sure we're gonna go drop the content on that but that's the reveal podcast episode 9 we got one more episode dropping and it's coming tomorrow like we said a double upload this weekend and then after that season is over yep tears and so, tears are made say your i'll see you later because we don't do goodbyes we don't do goodbyes i don't know definitely see you later it's a real podcast we'll see y'all soon see you later much love